Coach Misa Jackson's here to, today to talk to the Emory women's basketball. Coach, first off, congratulations, NCAA tournament bid, uh, first time since 2013. Thank you. Yes, we're uh, to say excited would be an understatement, but um, yeah, I think we've worked for this all year and. We've been playing like we're competing for a championship, and it's nice that we'll be able to go to the big dance. You know, talk about kind of talk about the anticipation on Monday. Obviously, you know, you you had to feel pretty good, but you really weren't a hundred percent sure until you heard your uh, name announced. Yeah, no, it, we were. We definitely weren't sure, but uh, I appreciate NCAA for putting us in the first bracket, so we only had to wait for three teams before us, but no, I, I don't think our players, our staff, and our department could be any more excited for our team and our program right now. Uh, at large bid came up, uh, had to win a game Saturday against Rochester, had to win it. Uh, guys really came up big. Yes, I think our team bonded together on that, and they they understood it was a must-win game, and I think for senior night, I think our seniors played well. I think our team played well around them and wanted to make sure our seniors in their last regular season home game ended on a great note. Now, uh, coming up this weekend, uh, the Eagles heading up to Thomas More University up in uh, Kentucky. First round matchup against Trine University, champs of the MIAA and ranked number five. What have you and your staff seen from uh, Trine on film? Just like every team, and I think at this time of the year, I think they're playing really mm -hmm. well. I think they're a great team. Uh, they score in multiple ways. I think they, they're shooting a high field goal percentage, three point percentage, and I think they're gonna. They're, I think we'll match up well with them. So for us, we're just gonna have to make sure we stick to what we do. Uh, talk about like the preparation. Obviously, the last time we made the tournament, you were on, uh, a member of the Eagles. You know, is there a different approach or anything like that? This, I mean, it's basically it's a one and done. How do you approach that? Right. Um, and so with it being the NCAA tournament, with it being one and done, at this time of the year, it's understanding everyone's going to be playing their best basketball because nobody wants to go home. So hustle plays, loose balls, everyone's going to be on them because nobody wants to go home. But I do think at this time of the year, it's the teams that prep for that prep for themselves the most, meaning we have to stick to us. Yes, obviously we're watching film and those kind of things, but nobody's reinventing the wheel at this time of the year. Everyone needs to be crisp with what they're doing, and right now, yes, we got to focus on us. And looking at this trying team, uh, is there anybody that you've played this year that you can that you would think would be kind of comparable? I think that there's a couple of teams that are similar, but I'd say the closest would probably be Transylvania that we played early in the non-conference. Uh, they can drive, they can shoot the three very well, physical, have some athletic players, but yeah, I think they'd probably be the closest one. All right, Coach, thanks very much for your time. We'll let you get back to work. Uh, good luck this weekend up in Kentucky, and we will see you when you get back. All right, thanks, John.